How's it going everybody, Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video. And in today's video we're going to be taking a look at Bardock. Let's start things off by taking a look at his special moves. Up first we have Bardock's Rebellion Spear. This move can be performed by inputting a quarter circle forward and hitting light, medium, or heavy. This move can also be performed in the air or on the ground, as with a lot of moves that Bardock can perform. The light version of Rebellion Spear sends Bardock flying across the screen with a single punch. The medium version sends him up when on the ground and down at an angle when in the air. The heavy version is a combination of both of them. This is honestly one of Bardock's strongest tools as he can throw this out in the neutral a lot and if it connects with your opponent you can easily confirm it into a full combo. The move is also found in a lot of Bardock's combos so this is definitely something you're going to want to learn with the character. Bardock's next special move is the Raging Meteor, which can be done by inputting a quarter circle back and then any attack button. The light, medium, and heavy version are all pretty similar, but the medium and heavy versions are the ones that give you a sliding knockdown. The move has a lot of benefits such as making it easier to set up assist combos in the corner, and by using this move with any air combo it gives you a chance to set up for a safe jump. Bardock's final special move is the Tyrant Lancer, in which Bardock can charge up an attack and then after it hits the opponent, he'll finish him with a key blast. Now something that's important to remember is that if you hit this move charged, it's safe on block, even though it looks like it really shouldn't be. So you can feel free to hit buttons afterwards, and if your opponent clicks anything, they should be getting punished. Now moving on to supers, Bardock has two level 1s. The first of which being Saiyan Spirit, which is done by inputting a quarter circle forward and heavy and special attack. This move is invincible on start off, and if close enough, it hits twice. After this move hits, you can simply click another button and Bardock will then fire his second level 1, the Riot Javelin, and it'll combo. If you want though, you can do the Riot Javelin by itself by inputting a quarter circle forward and light and medium. Both of these supers can be performed both on the ground and in the air. This is also the case for Bardock's level 3, Revenger Assault, which is a single hit super that allows Bardock to charge forward and do a lot of damage. Now let's go over a couple tips and tricks to keep in mind when you're playing Bardock. Remember to make the most out of your Rebellion Spear. This is a great tool to use in neutral to close the distance between you and your opponent, and as long as you pair it with an assist, it's a safe way for Bardock to get in. It's also a great move to throw out in the air and on the ground to make sure that you're keeping your opponent on their toes. Make sure to also keep in mind that Bardock's auto combo is fantastic for picking up opponents that are falling and then canceling into something else. Another good thing to keep in mind is that Bardock's jumping medium hits twice, so remember if you want the most from your combos to let this move hit twice before doing anything else. And the last thing to keep in mind is that Bardock is one of the characters that has a down light that actually hits low. So make sure you're taking advantage of 2L to really put the pressure on your opponent when he's blocking. Now we can go ahead and talk about Bardock's block strings. So for me I recommend the light light, down medium, medium, into heavy, and then into a down heavy. And then after that down heavy you can go ahead and perform the raging meteor. This is great because it leaves you safe against most attacks, and after you condition your opponent to block this, you can also start throwing in charged tyrant lancers to bait them into doing unsafe attacks, or you can go with two lights and then try to cross them up, and really it just opens up a lot for Bardock. Now let's talk about where Bardock goes on a team. And in my opinion, I feel that Bardock is best played as a point character because of just how much he benefits from having assists. You've seen the combo where he can chain level 1s while using other assists, and then he can do another level 1 and it just leads to insane damage. And really all that stuff is actually pretty practical in real games. Add to that the fact that Bardock's assist is a little underwhelming and you get a pretty decent point character. And now we'll go ahead and jump into the combos for Bardock and as you can see his bread and butter is pretty similar to most other Saiyans here so there's not too much to talk about. I won't go into detail on this one as it will be annotated at the end of this video but now we can move on to this combo which I do really want to go into more detail about. So basically you can get a touch of death with Bardock with 5 bars and by landing this simple starter. Now it might not be a touch of death with every team but even then it still does an insane amount of damage and this combo takes advantage of sparking blast and 2 assists so it's definitely something that you're not going to do in a lot of games but it is definitely worth knowing. As you can see it takes advantage of Bardock's auto combo and then a down medium and then a quick instant air dash into a single hit air medium attack. And then of course that loops one more time and then you go into the standard stuff with Bardock into the corner combo and then after that we can see using Bardock's level 1 in tandem with assist in order to keep the combo going and then right after that you just DHC into multiple supers and you do an insane amount of damage. This combo didn't even take me too long to learn. After watching somebody do it, I got it down within 40 minutes. So if you are a Bardock player, this is definitely worth having in your arsenal. And as for Bardock's corner combo, I recommend just doing that small section of the middle combo I showed you. And then of course you can also add assists and supers. Just feel free to mess around with this a little bit. And with that said, that's pretty much the end of this Bardock guide. Remember, if you need any extra help with these combos, there will be annotated.
annotated combos at the end of this video. And if you have any extra questions on how things connect or anything else about Bardock, feel free to leave me a comment down below. And if you want to recommend a character for me to cover in my next guide, you can also do that in the comments below. While you're down there, if you like this video and enjoy the channel, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want more Dragon Ball Fighters content like this. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next video.